Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand device models. Technically, we need to model our MOS transistors. For that, we need a circuit simulator. I'm going to talk about a circuit simulator called a SPICE, which stands for Simulation Program with Integrated Circuit Emphasis. The reason we are talking about SPICE here is because this is widely used by all the educational institutions today to understand the behavior of your circuit, and in this case, specifically the MOS transistor. Now it is very very important for a designer to understand how SPICE models the transistor because if you know the exact behavior of modeling then you can see the variations of certain parameters and its effect on your output and you also know how to interpret your output and what variations you need to make. For that you need to understand how does your simulator model your transistor. If you know that accurately you can do different permutations and combinations you can do a better analysis of your output. You can match with what you had understood in the classroom to a real time scenario and so on and so forth. So here we are talking about some of the device models used by SPICE. We are going to talk about level one model, which is also called as MOS one model. Before we get into that, let's understand that SPICE was a software that was distributed by University of California, Berkeley 50 years back, technically on an average. The three built-in MOSFET models then when they had made this was MOS1, MOS2, MOS3 also called as level 1, level 2 and level 3. Now level 1 models are nothing but the models which takes into consideration the square law, IV characteristics. It also takes into consideration your channel and modulation and body effect but it does not take into consideration any of the second order effects which we have already studied. Level 2 is an analytical MOSFET model also called as MOS2 model. This will take into consideration your second order effects. So would be level three, which is a semi empirical model. Here we are not getting into the details of each of these models. The idea here is to understand the basics of level one and level two. Just recently, Berkeley also brought out a new model, which was nothing but DSIM-3, which is currently being widely used in the public domain, which is called as Berkeley short channel IGFET model. IGFET is nothing but insulated gate field effect transistor. It has more accurate characterization of your MOSFET characteristics. This is the most recent one which has come out. There are also commercial models which redefine your device in such a way that more accuracy is achieved in real time. And one of them is PSPICE, which again I'm pretty sure some of you would have used in your undergraduate years, stands for Personal Computer Simulation Program with Integrated Circuit Emphasis. The scope of this clip is not to teach you how to write a SPICE file. The idea is to understand level one model and level two model at a superficial level. So here we go and understand the level one model, which is also known as Hitchman Hodges model. This model is very closely related to the Shockley model, which I've already put up on the screen. This is nothing but the equation of ID in the cutoff linear and saturation region, which we have already studied. So level one MOSFET model is closely related to this. Now the equations, the actual equations, used for the level one and channel MOSFET in SPICE are as follows, which I have written. Not that difficult to comprehend. IDS is equal to zero when VGS is less than VT. IDS equal to something, 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 something when VDS less than VGS minus VT and when VDS greater than VGS minus VT. Now, when I said something, something here is what we need to understand. If you see here properly, the parameters for the SPICE model are all given in caps. I have put K in a capital value, P in a capital value, W in the capital value, L in the capital value, Lambda is all in caps and so on and so forth. So this is one thing which we need to note. The parameters from the SPICE model are all given in caps. I've shown it in caps here. When I show you level two, you have to understand that it's in caps, but I will just be showing in the normal fashion. Also notice that the beta where it was in Shockley's model, it was beta is written here. It is replaced by K P W effective into L effective where K P is nothing but it's a model parameter, right? The model is saying it as K P, but technically for us, we have to understand that K P is nothing but K N because it's an N MOS, right? K N dash, which is nothing but mu N C O X. So K P will take into consideration the mobility of your electrons and the C O X. W effective and L effective is nothing but your actual effective channel width and your effective channel length. And then we know that in saturation, when we understood the channel length modulation parameter, we understood that the equation of ID was multiplied by one plus lambda into VDS, where lambda is nothing but the channel length modulation coefficient. We have already studied this, isn't it? 